everyone. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from Gold Squadron Flight Club. If you're not familiar with Gold Squadron Flight Club, this is our weekly Saturday night show where we have community members face off against each other in list building challenges. Today's list building challenge is hyperspace with a twist, though. Hyperspace fully loaded. You must fill every single upgrade slot that is available no slot will be left empty you got to use them all today we got sammy versus nicholas this is a, a european matchup <laughs> somebody in the uh in the chat said this game brought to you by the tiny european meta so that's funny uh, <laughs> and my co-host for this round is hello everybody this is alex farley from the tucson raider squadron Tucson. All right. So, uh, Alex, go ahead and break down these squads for me. All right. Cool. I'm going to start with the Republic squad over here. First off, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi with Calibrated Laser Targeting, Brilliant Evasion, and R5 Astromech. Next, there is Rick Olay with Outmaneuver, Fire Control System, R2 Astromech, Proton Torpedoes. And lastly, we've got Plo Koon with Calibrated Laser Targeting, Brilliant Evasion, and R5 Astromech. Uh, so, pretty standard, like, three aces build for the Republic, just with a small twist then from what we've seen in the past because of the must-fill-all-slots. Mm -hmm. uh, nicely, Calibrate Laser Targeting does fill up two slots, so that's uh, something that they didn't have to worry about. And then, let's see, the Resistance squad over here, we have ZZ with Heroic, Daredevil, Ion Missiles, and Advanced Optics. Tally with Heroic, Daredevil, Ion Missiles, and Advanced Optics. And then lastly, we have Poe Dameron with Integrated S Foils, Heroic, BB-8, Ferrosphere Paint, Hull Upgrade, Black One, and Ion Cannon. How expensive is that Poe Dameron? That, that Poe very, Dameron, very 94 <laughs> points. The thickest Dameron. The absolute thickest. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And for yeah, one thing I'm noticing here already is both players decided to go with ace builds. And the fact that Poe Dameron is a initiative six, though, might come out on top with that. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. If we take a look at their... Oh, that's the wrong wrong uh, one. So Sammy uh, is at 189, Nicholas at 191. So we did have some jockeying for the bid there. We'll have Nicholas having the advantage at initiative six, with Sammy having the advantage at initiative five. So trading uh, trading spots there. By the way, we did just open the Choose Your Champion poll, so go ahead and do that if you like to play in the chat. If you've never played before, you type exclamation point bet. You put a space, you type one or two. One is for Sammy, two is for Nicholas, and then you put how many points you want to wager on the uh, on the game. Super fun. You gain points just by watching, subbing, following. But, I mean, the easiest way is just literally just be here, and, uh, and you'll get your points. So here's my question for you, Alex. If you're playing Choose Your Champion, who do you think has the advantage in this game? Oh, man. I mean, the ability of Poe to react with BD-8 after everything uh, on the Republic side is going to be super, super good here. I, I think I'm going to go with the Republic on this one. Plus, these A-Wings, as you know, you're very well aware of, are very super squirrely. They're hard to kill. Yes. A-Wings are good. They're very good. And honestly, besides the, uh, the, the Ion missiles on the on the build they're pretty pretty standard to what you'd fit in of course the daredevil it's a little different a little different there it does mm -hmm. give you some some uh some different options could have fit crack shot with the number of points available but decides nah. <laughs> I, I, i'll <laughs> right. just take the daredevil and tally gonna go ahead and uh split that cloud with zz one on the left one on the right are we are we gonna get a joust I don't know. I mean, these A-Wings, especially ZZ, is very uh, defensive on the Joust uh, when there's only three enemy ships, mm -hmm. but they're still just A-Wings, so they can pop real quick. But then again, the same can be said for these Jedi, but the Jedi do have R5 Astromech, which allows them to regen damage cards. You are so correct. They could, you know, probably, you know, throw off the first attack and then, uh, you know, keep fighting. 
Yeah, and the R5 Astromech has a lot of value on the CLT Jedi, especially because they only have a single shield. And I'm sorry, I did misspeak there. You are correct. Thank you, chat, for correcting me. Crackshot is not hyperspace legal, which is why we have Daredevil in there as the uh, as a choice. I don't know. I might have been more tempted to do... Let's see. I don't even remember what talents are hyperspace legal. I've been playing droids recently in hyperspace, so... <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of talents over there. All right, and we um, Poe is deciding to opt into this joust. We got the one bank right be, right behind Tally. I don't know. I think he's got to be careful with that, uh, considering the fact that uh, he only has the two agility. It's going to be a lot easier to burn Poe down than these A-Wings, I think. Mm -hmm. Some people talking about Deadeye Shot maybe being an option. Let's see. Dead Eye Shot would have been an option in hyperspace. Um, let's see. If he didn't care as much about the bid, he could have gone to, like, let's see. Intimidation on A-Wings is always fun. <laughs> That's right. And well, we have our first shot here. Range 3 tally. <laughs> Range 3 tally, yes. <laughs> Here we go. Looks like we've got a hit and a blank. Mm -hmm. Classic. Could choose to optics. I mean, there's at least one shot coming in. Might just not, not willing to do that. And he's going to go for it. Oh. Optics for two. Okay. Trying to see if he can squeak in some damage oh. early here. And the answer is no. No. Don't think ZZ has a shot. Nope. All right. And po Plo, not Po, Plo, Kuhn will be taking the range three shot. Only two dice. Whiffs, nada. Gets nothing. Now let's Tally is not punished for spending that focus. No, not at all. Now let's go ahead and take a second and talk about BB-8 because maybe some people haven't seen her for a while. If we have any newer players. So BB-8 reads, before you execute a blue maneuver, you may spend one charge, which, by the way, BB-8 has two, to perform a barrel roll or boost action. So that does give Poe a lot of maneuverability. And like you had mentioned earlier, Alex, having that little bit of extra maneuverability before doing your maneuver and doing it at initiative six after the enemy has moved is a ton of information and really, really powerful. So I'm sure mm -hmm. Nicholas, while he is opting into the joust, he can hopefully, um, for him, right, he hopefully wants to use that uh, BB-8 to get himself either out of trouble or into a advantageous spot to get a good shot, though he's a mm -hmm. little, little limited in where... Uh, and where Poe can go right now because he has that cloud on the left side. Now, one thing that uh, Rick on the Republic side has to be careful about, he's most likely going to want to do like a three-speed maneuver if he wants to come into combat. And Poe does have a blue three straight that he can use with BB-8. Mm -hmm. So he, if Poe thinks about that, Rick won't get the extra die against him there. Ooh, all right. Tally getting aggressive here, five straight. That is a block attempt, it would seem, if I've ever seen one. Just trying to oh, yeah, trying definitely. to get in the way. Might be debating getting a little bit of uh, boost action here. Has to make the decision between rotating, focusing, and boosting. Career's the only one who gets to do all three. <laughs> oh yeah, Greer, the absolute best A-wing in the entire faction. <laughs> Agreed. Taking a focus. So ZZ comes in at a close second. <laughs> uh huh. Oh my goodness, could you imagine if Greer was a higher initiative? Uh, I would like to not think about that. <laughs> Alex is like, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I like playing uh, two A-wings with a friend, mm -hmm. uh, Greer being at a higher initiative would just be stupidly powerful okay. and I, uh, I yeah i'm out nope agreed <laughs> <laughs> 
I always think it's important to bring bring those situations up because sometimes people wonder like, oh, why do they only make X pilot with this ability a certain initiative? Be, the value of an ability can really go up if depending on the initiative in both in both ways. There are some abilities that are better when you go down, and other ones that are better when you go up. Mm -hmm. Definitely. All right. So it looks so like he's going for the target lock. Yeah. So Rick, I believe, uh, is, is carrying a proton torpedo. So that's that's mm -hmm. a threat there on Poe if Poe went slow. Yeah, but Poe can still get out of that fairly easily with the double reposition. Very true. Little little barrel barrel row shimmy shimmy action. I'm really surprised we got a joust. <laughs> I'm like really I'm really surprised. Right. <laughs> Now, I feel like Rick's going to feel real sad if Poe did plan the three straights, chooses to barrel roll to the right and get outside of Rick's arc and have been a range one, like, focus lock shot. Mm -hmm. Well, at least Rick would have an evade. But, yes, you <laughs> you would be sad for sure. Now, it's also important to note that you can use Poe's ability off of the boost or barrel roll action from BB-8. So you could end up unstressed. So, you, for instance, barrel roll, use Poe's ability to get a focus. Then you clear the stress with the three forward or whatever blue maneuver you did after bb eighting, and that clears your stress. And now you have your perform action step, which then gives you an additional action. So that is a mm -hmm. little bit of Poe shenanigans there. Very fun. That's that's uh, that's classic Poe for sure. Now the only thing is you don't want to do that too early and too often because he only has two charges. Right. Uh, once the charges are gone, uh, your tricks are done. That's it. You got to make sure it uh, it matters here. Now we did get. Oh, I have never actually seen this ability go off. What is this? After an enemy ship locks you, if you are not in that ship's bullseye, that ship gains a stress. So Ferris Fear Paint just went off. Everybody, when was the last time you saw that Ferris Fear Paint doing anything? When was the first time you saw that? Never. I've never seen anybody even equip it. To be completely <laughs> honest. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna have yeah, at least I, one person in the chat going like I always use Ferris Fear Paint. This is my favorite upgrade. Where are you? Where are you, person? I know you're there. Yeah, I'd almost rather see like pattern analyzer or prime thrusters. Agreed. Oh, we see the three straight. BB. Oh boy. BB. <laughs> so what is the call? Probably debating if the barrel roll works. Now, one interesting thing, of course, is he could have had the option also to save the BBA charge if the three forward fits, and then you could just normal barrel roll, have a bullseye. That might be just mm -hmm. as good, unless he's planning to do boost shenanigans, which he very well could be. He's definitely flipped the charge, just waiting to see what it'll give him. What do you want to do? Oh, wait. I just realized something like really fun that he could do this turn if he wanted to. Mm. He could. Uh, okay. Oh, I see what he's doing. Okay. So he's going to go three straights, and uh, then he's going to talent roll using the slam. Ah. Uh, so B hope that doesn't put him too far forward, though. BB-8 boost. Poe. Uses his ability for the focus. Yep. Mm. That risky bit. Just do it. Just do it. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> mm. Give it to I, me. I don't know how fine that is. <laughs> he's got it. He's got he's got all day. All day. No doubts. I got no doubts. Do it, Poe. Let's get some black ones in the chat. I believe in you, Poe. I mean, would I risk flying a uh, 90-something point Poe off the board? No, but I think it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he's not doing it. He's just going for the target lock. <laughs> Smart choice. <laughs> just dang. <laughs> All right, no, no greed there. Taking it safe, taking it safe. I, I agree. Uh, I totally would have done the uh, just the barrel roll uh, into a focus, then do the three forward, and then maybe do the the talent roll. <laughs> mm, on the on the opposite side, at more of an angle. 
Yeah, yeah, be more like in front of Tally. All right, one crit. Uh, that says hit hit crit now. Oh, it is hit 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 crit. Sorry about that. I must have just read it yeah. wrong. Optics for three. That's into a tokenless Obi Wan. Okay. Obi not happy about that. Use the force. Takes hit crit. Yeah. This could be real big. Oh, takes a whole deck. Strong. Strong. 33 cards. There you go. Use the Republic deck. Fuel leak. Fuel leak. All right. That could Oof. be bad in the future, but at least it doesn't do anything yet. You just don't want to get shot anymore. Mm-hmm. Somebody saying, Obi-Wan, I hate flying. Yes. Now, it is important to note that with that R5 Astromech, um, if he can spend an action to flip the fuel leak face down, he can always use R5 and um, and get rid of the card completely or even use R5 to flip the face up card face down. Right. Now, that obviously doesn't matter on something like fuel leak, but uh, something like a damage engine mm -hmm. or... A uh, what's it called? Um, uh, structural damage. You can totally get rid of that point. Yep. All okay, right. We got so hit, we got hit, hit, crit coming in. This is Sammy shooting now with Obi Wan yep. range one into ZZ. ZZ's okay. going to be taking a shield. Yeah. And now we have a Rick shot coming in after that. ZZ has no no mods now. Focus is gone. Now, Rick doesn't have any offensive mods either, but he does have that third die. Hit crit. There you okay. go. You're just trying to get on the over. And that's going to do a Oof. damage. That's half points on ZZ. All right. So we got both players. Oh, no. Looks like we just... Oh. We just got to disconnect. Oh. Save. Panic save. Save game. Save. Everybody everybody got kicked off. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> well, you know what? At least it's not a Galactic Championship qualifier when something like this happens. And there you go. I just got disconnected as well. ZZ is tops. Yes, we'll go ahead and get get it uh, get it booted up again. Give us a moment to do that. Let's take a look. You can always look in the global chat, and if you go, if you see everybody going, ah oh, man, you know uh, that uh, that it crashed for everybody. Kill the server, exactly. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try to make that again. Council fire. <laughs> yes, we had a council fire. Correct. Oh man, I remember that council fire from LVO. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Your computer that just uh, like didn't want to work by the end of it? Yep. At LVO, it, or was it a different? No, no, it was LVO. Like we finished, and then it blue screened. It was perfect. <laughs> remember oh my god that was whew. <laughs> well i have it i have the table spun back up the players will have to jump in here boom here i'm gonna jump over to their to them give me a second alex from rick hey guys i, oh. I just uh i just I reloaded the table from our last save point i was able to save it before it died oh, that's good you just have to re uh, reassign your dial. All right, I'll jump out. Yep. It should uh, you should be able to find it. Yep, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get our uh, camera computer going here to make sure that we can see it. If you're just jumping in, we had a uh, a fatal error crash on Tabletop Simulator. It's rare, but it happens. So just getting everything spun back up. Realize I should have, eh, whatever. It is what it is. 
Actually, I'm going to just reload it again. They might get a little upset. Uh, hold on, one, one sec. Uh, one more time. They're gonna have to reassign one more time. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's good now. <laughs> All right, let's bring back our table camera. I will work on getting the dice camera back up. Just give me a second. And we should be good to go. Oh, I should probably pause the timer. There we go. Lock it in. Sailor Joe, thank you for your sub in these turbulent times. <laughs> Oops. I stopped the table timer. All right. Thank you so much. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and just edit this to 56. We got it. We're pros here. We're pros. Okay, looks like they're set. Looks like they have assigned all the dials. Cool. And they have started the timer again. Excellent. All right, so now we're back to dials. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, at least it happened, it happened during a planning phase. It is... The hardest is when it happens in the middle of activation. Yeah, that's when things get real weird. Yeah, because then it's like, well, you saw my ships move. Do I do the same moves? Yeah, it's it's very strange. Yeah. At that point, it's just like an honor system mm -hmm. sort of thing. All right, well, that crash was brought to you by Kuat Premier. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Kuat is great. Great product. Don't attribute a crash to them. <laughs> but go, go, seriously, go look at their stuff. I've been wanting to buy a couple of their dial covers for a while now, and they look great in person. That's right. Use that coupon code FLIGHTCLUB2020 for 10% off. <laughs> so Dion, have you actually seen like the, the, the fire spray one in person? I, I have it. It's right here. Oh, okay, cool. No, one of my local players got it uh, this last week, and I absolutely love it. Yes, it is. It's on my desk somewhere. Give me a second. I'll, I'm looking. I'm looking for it now. Let's see. <laughs> Thai BA. Ah, here it is. Fire spray. Love it. Ah, it looks so good. Mm hmm I totally want one. Well, if you go and type exclamation point Kuat in the chat. Click on the link, type in the coupon code, you could get your own right now. By the way, the coupon code is good until the end of the year. Um, I know th our meme is uh, that it's not good on Tuesday. Uh, not good. <laughs> but uh, this one is actually good up until the end of the uh, into the end of 2020. Will it come back for 2021? I know that's up to uh, Co-op Print Yards and if they if they still love us after uh, after today. Mm -hmm. We'll find out. Brian, I love you. Hopefully you still love me. <laughs> all right. Looks like their dials are all set. Okay. Waiting for Nicholas to move the first ship. The little A-wings. Oh. I think we're about to see some back arc engage. I actually think Tally might do like a one hard focus boost oh. after Obi Wan. Oh yeah, I mean, you got hot pursuit. I like it. I like it. I think we just get end up getting the rotate right here because if you can yeah. if you can turn Tally in as well, you get double shots. There's the focus. There's the rotate. Mm -hmm. Now let's see what Tally does. 
two bank. Okay, so we're going to get the back shots then. Mm -hmm. That's Nicholas just playing it very safe. Very safe. And it looks like Obi-Wan's action is to flip the fuel leak. Oh, Plo Koon does a sloop, does overlap the debris. Going to be double stressed. Doesn't take a damage. Has a juicy range one shot onto ZZ, but of course, ZZ actually has the modifier. So I think ZZ might end up on top for that one. Rick takes the bump. No shot. And only goes two. Mm. Uh, which is very important for that tally shot back. Poe Dameron, two left turn. Oh, come on. He totally had the three. The talent roll would have been super in. Looking at where the where the two put him, he would have had it. He would have had it. He, he would have at least had, like, a pixel. Come on. At least a pixel. <laughs> <laughs> now, the question is, does he burn the slam right now? But the nubs, yes, the nubs, even the nubs would have been fine, probably. I mean, you could just focus boost. You have a shot on Obi Wan. You're fine. You know. Yeah, but I think he wants to try and capitalize on where his other ships are pointed right now. Though a shot at Obi Wan while he's down could really do some damage. Yep, I mean, and he, and he only has one hull as well. Sorry, one two, one shield. Two excuse hull. me, one. Uh, oh my God, I said every word except the one I'm trying to say. Force, force. <laughs> but of course, he do, oh, he does have. He's gonna do the. Is he doing it? Yep, he's doing it. Black one. Though of course he did have yeah, brilliant like evasion on the focus. Oh, he's doing a two bank instead. What? Okay, he's going after Obi Wan. So he changed the terrain to two. It's important to note, though, that uh, let's see. Does how does Brilliant Invasion read? Uh, while you defend, if you are not in the attacker's bullseye, you may spend one force to change two of your focus results to evades. And mm -hmm. he's not. So Brilliant it's Invasion is active. Ability. See this? I, I did. I don't like the use of the slam here. Uh yeah, I agree. If you were going to just do a bank, the boost would have been fine. I think. Yeah, because you still would have been in range three. Mm -hmm. All right, we got four defensive dice. No, one out of the box. Oh. <laughs> Take all the cards. This, this die is real important right now. Ooh, takes two. That's a dead Obi Wan. Obi Wan Kenobi gone off the board. Has anybody in the chat read the Master and Apprentice book and learned why Obi Wan is uh, is not a fan of flying? It's quite an entertaining passage. No spoilers, but it's very entertaining. Anybody out there with me? Here goes ZZ, probably range one at Plo. Yep. Uh, so players need to be promoted. They can't actually delete anything right oh, now. Oh, wrecked. Because of the disconnect. I get on it so. right now. Oh, boy. Hit crit focus. You'll get another focus. Just suspend it. There you go. Hit it crit into Plo. Yeah. Oh wow! Hit crit, and that crit does go to the hole. Blinded pilots. Well, at least he's a Jedi. Hmm, maybe. <laughs> yes, but that matters for his bullseye for calibrated laser target. It sure does. Because adding a result is a modification. All right, so now we have Tally trying to get some damage into pl into Rick. That's going to be two with optics. Mm -hmm. Is Nicholas going to manage to do a little bit of damage to all of Sammy's ships this turn? Is that what's going to happen? 
No. No. Denied. <laughs> D denied. Against the natties. <laughs> Oh, I see some people in the chat busting out the uh, the dice ghosts. <laughs> I love it. Gonna take the range one shot. It's your best chance to actually do damage. Mm -hmm. Ooh, my goodness. You spend the fours just because you, you can. But you need a, right. a double blank out here from... Yeah, not gonna happen. So 26-88. Nicholas has a very strong lead, especially after getting that half points on Plo Koon. Mm -hmm. And if that were a normal damage, Plo Koon could regen up to uh, half hit points this next turn. But because it's a crit, it, he'll have to wait until the following turn after that. <laughs> Newbie in the chat says he is fighting a god. <laughs> 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 love it love it love it by the way chat we have halloween coming up um anybody uh got some sweet costumes they plan on uh on doing maybe maybe you cosplay you got any pictures you guys can uh can link in the chat it's always entertaining to see people who uh who do their cosplay for halloween We actually, uh, secret for Christmas, I just bought my daughter a Jedi costume. And she's. we've been watching um, Jedi Temple Challenge. I'm not sure if anybody has watched that. It's like the, the kids Jedi obstacle course show. My daughter loves it. So uh, my plan for uh, for Christmas, uh, one of the things is we're going to set up a obstacle course inside the house. And then she'll earn her Jedi robes that way. Should be good. I'm pumped. <laughs> nah, that sounds awesome. All right. So with 45 minutes left, I mean, what, what can Sammy do here to uh, to try to – I mean, he's got to go after Poe, right? Like that's, that's how you try to claim some points and, and scratch yourself back into this game. Especially with knowing where Poe's going to be this turn with that one forward. Somebody, Sub Hedgehog, says, I'm going as a tech worker full of existential dread. Oh, speaking of that, <laughs> speaking, speaking of that, I have, uh, as of this Monday, I will be heading back into, uh, into teaching in person. Which will be okay. which will be interesting. Uh, yep, especially because my um, <laughs> the suburb in which I teach has the uh, highest uh, COVID rate in the state. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, all right, so we're getting some movement it's here. It's gonna be fun. Just a two forward from Tally. I'm probably gonna guess the same sort of thing from uh, Boozy Z. Oh, or not? Hard two. Defending the Poe, saying, "Don't you, don't you dare touch Poe." He might barrel, barrel roll. He oh, get, yeah. looking for the block. Look at that. I like that. <laughs> Dive Master sixty nine. Thank you so much. Five months. You're one away from the six month mark to get that next sub badge. Thank you so much. Oh, that's right. You changed the sub uh, like icons mm -hmm. the other day. Had a bunch of fun with that. And Plo is going to get past with a two bank. Remember, Poe is ionized. No BB 8 shenanigans this turn. Just a one forward and a focus. The puns are strong with Mr. Rocker Crocker today. Rick taking yeah, a bump as well. He's going aggressive, real aggressive. One straight. Well, he wants to try and punch in at that uh, Poe as much as he can. That's right. 
Poe does have eight hit points, though, that he has to chew oh, through. so thick. Oh, so thick. Because that whole upgrade. At least Poe doesn't have to worry about the CLT. Mm-hmm. So he's got the bullseye on. He's got two force available. Remember, Rick will should not get an extra die because there was no dial to compare it to when uh, when that happens. Oh, that's fair. Yep. I'll put that in there. A reminder. No Rick ability versus Poe. All right. He's got a range one shot, three dice. Now he does get out maneuver at least. He does. Oh, just one. Oh, right. there you go. Oh, he has a target. He's lock. got a lock out there. Why didn't he spend it for two? Yeah, he does have fire control system. I mean, I think this is the turn you just spend it. Fire control isn't worth as much. Well, he got the evade. Uh, sorry, he got a blank two shields down. Now Plo is up. And Blinded Pilot makes it so that Plo does not get the calibrated laser targeting. And didn't need it. Hit crit. Could get half points right here on Plo. Sorry, on Poe. This is Plo on Poe. <laughs> yeah, he'd have to get through. To, oh, well, he's not going to get it right now. Definitely Spend not. Spend the focus. No damage. So, uh, Ghost Blanco zero one two three. Um, the exclamation point waitlist brings up uh, something from a couple months ago. If you want to join Flight Club, type exclamation point Flight Club in the chat, and we can get you uh, in in the queue. For joining now we got quite a few people on on the list but so that you can get tagged on discord by the way anybody here anybody here who um <laughs> who's part of gold squadron flight club and uh <laughs> and has 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 signed up to be a part of it make sure that you have your notifications for discord on uh, the reason for that, the reason I'm bringing that up, is there was five out of six people who were supposed to play today didn't respond to the fact that they were uh, assigned to play today. So, uh, <laughs> so make sure that yeah. if you, if you are signed up, that you have notifications turned on for at least being tagged on Discord. Just that easy in the in the flight club matchups Ooh, zz three bank and right over poe as super close takes the boost saying i'll, I'll give i'll give poe a little space a little wiggle wiggle <laughs> for shame give their points to us oof all right, Rick taking another bump there. What is Poe doing? <laughs> in in the tabletop simulator chat, we got Sammy saying, "I might have totally forgotten that Poe moves after me." <laughs> uh
have totally been there. Yeah, I think all all X Wing players, if you've played enough games, you have definitely forgotten movement order and thought you had a god level move. Uh, when it turns out, oh wait a second, <laughs> that's not how that I works. Think- and I think Sam is from like Germany, I believe, or Germany or like Italy, if I remember correctly, or France. Like, it could be one of those. I don't know. I've played him once. <laughs> Netherlands. Okay, thank you, Crazy Vulcan. Mm-hmm. Netherlands. Now Poe is currently sitting in range one. No, that was a BB-8 boost before he does the uh, uh, his actual maneuver. It sure is. So he's likely to get out, takes the Poe focus using Poe's ability. Yeah, he's out. Mm. And that's the one bank as his maneuver. Completely safe, no problems. I'm kind of surprised. he Does he have a, a target lock out there already? He does. All right, one hit, one okay. focus going into Plo Koon. Trying to see if they can... This could be the end of Plo Koon. No, denied. Not today. Denied. What was Plo's action? Did Plo flip that? No. He bumped. No, he bumped. You're right, you're right, you're right. So no, no chance to flip over that blinded pilot yet. Range two, That's two dice. That's pretty huge. Use a forest for two. There's a chance. Natties. Safe. And Rick going to try to take a shot. Unlikely to do damage, especially with ZZ not even having to spend the focus yet. Mm-hmm. Defensively from the first shot. And is fine. Yeah, Sammy's going to have to make some real aggressive plays in order to have a chance to catch up in this game. And I think that aggressive play is you got to go after Poe. Maybe take this turn, get a couple target locks on there, and you, you set up a pass. Now Poe has no more BB-8 charges, so no more shenanigans for him. No more shenanigans. I mean, that, that just gives you an easier opportunity to actually track him down and get some marks on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Poe's burned almost everything he has. So, yep, no more Black One or BB-8. So, whatever he reveals is what he's got. Now, these A-Wings, of course, they, they, they can do some pretty heavy lifting on their own if uh, if Poe does get taken out. But we got to see. We'll see. But the Republic will be moving after them. So, the A-Wings have to be very careful where they put themselves. This is very true, yeah. Being able to have that double reposition on Plo can give you some advantages, especially if uh, Sammy can take a turn here to clear that blinded pilot so we can get the CLT working again. That's just going to increase your chances as well. All right, so I see a target lock. Oh, no, that's just putting the... I think it just got lost earlier. Got it. Yeah, because Rick had it set up for the fire control system earlier. Mm-hmm. No, at this point, you, Point Castle. I mean, you're you're right, but <laughs> I mean, N- N- Nicholas came to play. He, he might not want a Point Castle. I mean, that's that's the correct choice, though. <laughs> Hide Poe. Hide him. Yeah, but where's the fun in that? I just work here, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My school of thought generally is always very much, I, a Mandalorian, I go fight. That's right. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> this is the way. Yep. By the way, I, I do have a very cute little little baby Yoda here in my in my office. It's my, my snuggle buddy when I'm feeling stressed, swaddled in a blanket. We were watching The Mandalorian earlier. It was great. Nice. Super pumped for season two. That's happening around the corner. 
Mm-hmm. It's what is it supposed to be at the end of this month, right? Yes, we're so close. We're so close. Mm-hmm. So close. Ah, <sighs> Star Wars. It's fun. <laughs> Now, after our stream today, yes. we, we are probably going to have a little bit of After Dark content. We'll talk more about it later. But if you were wondering if we were planning on staying on afterwards, the answer is yeah, for at least a little bit. We'll be on. Also, after this round, we're going to be doing a giveaway brought to you by Kuat Print Yards. Excited to do that. And here we go. ZZ. Two straight. I think that's pretty risky as well. I mean, ZZ also has already lost half points. Mm -hmm. Just kind of continuing uh, the, the two forward there, deciding to stick with offense rather than defense. I would have been really tempted to like too hard after tally. Mm -hmm. that, that's what I, that's what kind of what I expected. But of course, if you see Plo Koon and Rick end up going really aggressively to the left with both like this, <laughs> Yeah. It could end up being the right move. So hitting the cloud does roll the eyeball, so that's going to be a strain on Rick. Mm -hmm. Plo could have a real nice, real nice shot set up here. Clear the blinded pilot or action. Yeah, that would cost you two, one force. You could clear the or do the fine. Well, you'd have to boost first and then clear it. Yep. Could also, oh boy! And Poe doing the talent roll. I was thinking maybe the hard turn, but the talent roll is just as good. Threatening Plo Koon. It is unobstructed range two. Poe could take him out That's right a here. Real juicy shot. See, this is where I think I would have definitely put pattern analyzer over Ferrosphere paint on Poe. Mm -hmm. I mean, he had the points. Here we go. Three dice coming in. Three on two. For one. Ah, uh, pattern analyzer isn't hyperspace legal. Ah, that's why he didn't take it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair statement. <laughs> you don't know what you don't know, and now we know. Here we go. Range two shot. ZZ into Plo Koon. Two hits. Didn't even have to spend a mod. Zizi's very happy about seeing that. Uh, oh, gonna have to dump both force. No, he doesn't. Brilliant evasion. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Brilliant evasion, <laughs> yes. You could spend one force <laughs> to modify two focus results for um, on defense. As long as you're not in the bullseye of the enemy ship. <laughs> Here we go. We got a range two shot going from Tally into Rick from downtown. Remember, Rick is strained. Hit crit. One die. And hit crit. Takes Shields are down on Rick. Oh, no. Rick will get a shot back. Range two. It did. Oh, he's going to go into Poe with that Proton Tour. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, you got the edge right there. Range two. Go for it. You took the target lock. Oh, fire oh. control. You even get to keep it. Ooh, baby. Oh, man. Okay. Poe is rolling three dice with a gas cloud. No gas cloud. No gas cloud. But, but you know what? Only losing a shield there seems real nice for Poe. <laughs> Poe's like, eh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this would oh, be the oh. last tur last uh, shot of the round here. Hit crit from Plo Koon. Going into Poe as well. And taking a crit. Here we and that's going to be half, I think. It sure is. Stun pilot. After you execute a maneuver, if you move through an obstacle, take a damage. That's relevant with where Poe is at the moment. It is. It brings Sammy up to 73 points. Let's 
Stun pilot. Okay. Hmm. The Republic starting to uh, starting to believe maybe a little bit. You're saying there's a chance. Yes. Yes, there are. Is? There is. Words are hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You're a music teacher. Anyway. That, that's correct. Correct. Minimal words. Now, one thing I always like to do is uh, do polls during our streams. Now, here's my question for you guys this week is where are you watching from what continent or region of the world are you watching from one type one in the chat for north america two for south america three for africa four for europe five for asia and six for oceana slash australia where are you at where are you at we got some uh oh man we got europe and australia awake very nice. Or sorry, Oceana. I'm going to correct myself. Some now. Europe's coming in. Yep. Hey, where are you at, South America? There's one. Got one South America so far. Oh, did I? Poe is not on his last health. What are you? What? That. Uh... Lies of the Jedi. Why are you lying? Meta Malta. No. Go drink. Blow only has one hit point left. Go, go drink some coffee. What? Come up. Am I? Did I have something wrong? Or did I read it wrong? I may have read it wrong. Does Plow? Is it Plow? Plow did take a damage uh, a bit back. Plo. So yeah, he, 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 oh. Ah ha ha. Plow. Yes. Bam. One health left on Plow Coon. We did it. Now, one thing to note is Plo can still get above half hit points because of that R5 Astro. R5, I believe in you, R5. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Yeah, he did take the time to clear the blinded pilot, so we just got to take two turns now, which is going to take him two actions, of course. Um, but he can, like you said, get up above that half point, which would bring him into the lead. Mm -hmm. Ooh, tasty. So this is definitely far from over. And scrum diddly umptious. Sorry, I watched Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory today. <laughs> 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 All right. So looking at Tally's position, that's one thing I want to talk about here. One of the problems with constantly firing out the back arc with these A-wings is in certain positions – kind of like this one, you could end up leading away from the fight. And with Poe now only being at four health, you've cracked into the half points, being in danger here a little bit. Um, we might not have Tally around to actually support the firefight that's coming up. And one thing to note is Tally hasn't used her ability this entire game. Adding that extra defense side could have been really big for uh, several parts of it. All right, focus. Somebody asked what version of the Willy Wonka factory did I watch today? Our Willy Wonka, it's the old one. I actually haven't the seen Gene Wilder one. Gene Wilder, yes. I have actually, actually never watched the new one. I just haven't done it yet. I'm not against it, just haven't watched it. Have no opinion. All right, ZZ is in offensive position, probably going to catch herself a blow coon. Plo did a three straight, looking at options now. I think he's going to barrel roll to get outside of... Yep, yeah. there it is. Is he still in the back arc? Or did he dodge him? Oh, that's real close. Ooh, spicy. We'll find out here in a minute. But he's regening a card. Nice. Now that does leave Plo Koon without any mods. You don't need mods. Just roll natties. You're fine. Rick, take... There is a <laughs> Oh, about, I think, one bank. <laughs> no, believe. Just believe. Mm, not one bank, but two bank. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's going to be a range one shot. Target lock focus because you are Poe and you can, right? Yep. <laughs> oh. 
There's a lock. They got it. All right. So we, we might not even get this Plo Koon juicy shot. Plo at the moment has zero force, two hole, and a range one trigger happy fly boy right behind him. Let's find out what happens here. Four dice. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's, we're going to get three hits so far. We still have the lock. And yeah, yeah, that's bad. One blank is death. One focus is blank. Oh, super dead. Very, very dead. And this is where that initiative six is coming in. Yep. And here we go. Rick in a dream. He's got a couple of A-wing shots here. Rick Ole sandwich, A-wing bread. Let's get it. Now, what speed did Rick do? Rick did a three hard. So he does get the extra defense die. Takes a damage here. Oh, boy. That's half points on Rick. Another two hits coming in. And takes another takes one. Takes another one. Down to one. Rick just five straight, buddy. It's... uh. So time, <laughs> well, time to head back to Naboo. So I don't. I think Rick ha, can at least get this turn with no attacks against him. Mm, uh, yes, yes. No, a Poe can just talent roll to the left and fire at him. He's stressed. Oh, you're right. He uses ability. This is true. Yeah. This is true. If Rick really wants it, he can get some uncontested shots. Ah, it's because the trust token wasn't actually out there. Ha ha. Yeah. Uh, actually, well, it might be. No, it's not. Okay. I was wondering if it was like underneath his target line. Mm -hmm. And I do want to remind everybody that we have one more game after this. So make sure you guys stick around. Love having you guys. Thank you so much for your support and watching. We were talking about earlier uh, the next upcoming event series. We are calling it Gold Squadron Season 1. And in the season, there are going to be multiple events. You don't have to participate in all of them. You can. And your goal, of course, is to uh, earn enough points to be crowned an ace. But even if you're not crowned an ace, you can end up... Uh, you know, being uh, given a recruit or veteran pin as well. There will also be ways to join where if you want the prize, essentially you're going to have two ways to get in. You could either come in, you could just play for free, which just, you know, you, there are no prizes if you play for free. Uh, by, besides the participation prize, you can still get the participation prize. Or if uh, if you want the the additional swag, there will be a fee for that. But... Uh, more to come. I, I still want to wrap up the announcement uh, documentation. I'm not entirely happy with it right now. I'm sure most people would look at it and say it's it's, it's fine, but I want to make it more airtight. <laughs> Put it that way, because it is it is very different. My idea is uh, has has a lot of moving parts, and I want to make sure people understand that. Now, could. Uh current aces get these things oh uh no 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 you gotta actually earn it <laughs> you gotta earn, you gotta oh. you gotta prove it the the document the document just says like hey is, is this where you think you are all right you gotta this is now earn it consider consider the current flight club simply season zero this is just like get your feet <laughs> wet next is prove it <laughs> Crazy Vulcan in the chat says, but we both know they will not read it. I mean, you're not wrong, people. <laughs> but I want to be yeah, able to yeah, point yeah. to it and say, you were wrong, not me. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you're signed up for Ryloff or Mustafar, please read your stuff. Get your stuff signed up. And if you have a question, ask the question. But maybe you read it first. Read, read the documentation, please. All right. Always blame the chat. Yes, I mean, always. Where are you going, Rick? Gonna get a nice range one shot this turn. 
after Poe did a one bank. Yeah. I don't know why Poe went that way with the one bank. He got cocky. I mean, that's what trigger happy flyboys do. This is true. Now, Rick could just straight up kill Poe here. That's right. He's got four dice because of his ability and range one. Get and a lock and a focus. Ooh, oh, get him. Get him. And Poe's only got one die because of outmaneuver. That's right. Let's find out. Looking for the blunt. Oh! oh, oh, that's a dead Poe. Poe, po go poof. Poe go go boom. Bang. And no heroic on that Poe because uh, you cannot heroic on a single die. Needs two or more. That's big. Bring Sammy to a total of 120 points. I mean, you still got to face off against these A-wings, and you have only one hole left. But, man, never stop fighting. Never stop fighting. Kuat Print Yards in the chat says, that was satisfying. That moment was brought to you by Kuat Print Yards. <laughs> Kaboom. <laughs> you, you know what? If Poe had like a special dial from Kuat Print Yards, he might have done better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, Poe. Way to go, buddy. <laughs> All righty. So we probably have one to two more turns left in this matchup, just looking at the positioning here. Tally did get turned around. Remember, A-Wings have that five forward mm -hmm. blue, so she'll be in the fight. ZZ will likely just casual two forward, just hope to get a shot, maybe, maybe faster than that. Now, here's the thing. I think, like, how expensive is that ZZ? ZZ is 51 Not enough points. that if he kills ZZ, he will still be behind. Yeah. By losing, as soon as you lost half on, uh, though I guess if you kill ZZ and half tally, then you're ahead. But you need to half mm -hmm. tally as well. Well, he's got the time. But it's going to be really hard to do that. Oh, but wait, wait a second. Wait a second. He's got regen, Alex. If he regens both shields. He? Yes, he's got R2 Astromech. If he regens both shields. Oh. He's ahead. Or at least he gets he gets those points back and can try to take uh, ZZ out. Or would he already be ahead? 46 plus 25. No, he would be just behind. Mm. Oh, bump there from Rick. Oh, and he didn't regen. He did not. Oh, man. I think he forgot he had regen. He did, but right now, uh, Tally's arc is to the back. Oh, it's Ion True, Missile. Ion. Has the Ion Missile, yeah. All he needs to do is one. Oh, okay. They're letting him yeah, regen. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Blink. Three dice coming in. Has a lock. Only needs one. Oh, that's probably it right there. Oh, now, here's the thing. Rick is only at... Oh, he's going to get ions, probably. Got him. Oh, yeah. He takes... Well, he's not dead. Shield. He takes damage in an ion, but... <laughs> Next turn. Next turn, he's definitely dead. And I'm sorry, I I did math this incorrectly. Um, if if he would have been able, that's not possible now. If he would have been able to regen back both shields and get above half, he would have been ahead because he has half on uh, on ZZ already. Miscalculation, man, absolutely awesome. So Sammy had a chance there, really, all the way up to the end. I know that it seemed like Nicholas was ahead most of the game, but there was a window there. There was a window. Mm -hmm. It is 
I, you can't call it 100% closed. There might be a small breeze coming through that window, but not much more than that. And want to remind you, after this second game, we're going to do our giveaway brought to you by Kuat Print Yards. Bring oh, up. the other thing is here, uh, he can't regen on that ion maneuver either. Ooh, because he didn't have a dial. One damage, and this is yep. it. He's got two. No Rick ability, by chip. the way. So oh, there's a target lock out there. So if this is three hits. Or oh, optics. optics that's it. And that's the ball game. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Nicholas God, getting the W here on Gold Squadron Flight Club 120 to 200. I know this is 189 there just because of the bit. But congratulations. And Alex, thank you so much for hanging out with me today, man. Thanks for having me. I'm always happy to talk with you and everyone else in the chat.